Okay, so we've already drawn a scary, well, not scary, but a realistic skull as a skeleton. So I thought it might be fun to draw something a little cuter, a little bit more cartoony. So I'm going to draw a kawaii skeleton, which if you don't know what that is, it's the Japanese art form where things are made super cute by giving them big eyes. I think, um, I think Shopkins, stuff like that. So to get started, I've got my paper sideways in landscape. Uh, you can do this drawing any way you like, but I'm going to include a background at some point. So I want to give myself some space to draw that. As always, keeping my position and posture loose and keeping my pencil light in my hand so I can create some light sketching lines. I'm going to begin with a circle for the head. So I'm going to ghost out, skeleton out my circle, find my shape. And then about a third of the way up, I'm going to bring a line across. So this part's going to be the top of my skull. Under here is where I'm going to carve out a little spot for my teeth. Okay. So it kind of looks like a little bit of a mushroom right now. Um, that's okay. I'm going to erase some of these lines, so remember to keep them soft. Once I have that, I'm going to place a triangle right in the middle, right above of that line and on either side of the triangle a big circle that's about as large if not larger than the triangle itself uh, I'm going to place a vertical line of doesn't have to go all the way up but I'm going to divide this into four teeth by placing two more lines on either side and then you can leave this at the end but just to make it look nicer I'm going to remove some of these lines now, so that's what I'm going to be left with on the top. Right. Um, I will come out, come back and blacken in the eyes, darken them in. Uh, I'm going to leave a little shine mark for the circle in there. So I'll do that at the end. Underneath that, I'm going to come off of either side of the jaw and bring down a rounded rectangle shape. So it's kind of rectangular, but it's not does not have sharp corners. It's roughly this. Actually, it's a lot smaller than the head, so you don't want to go too big. With this style, the head is going to be the biggest thing. I'm going to draw a line across the bottom. You can either draw this as a straight curve across, or I'm going to give it a little dip in the middle. So it's got a curvy line going across the bottom with an oval tilted to the outside in either area. That's going to be our pelvis, our hip bones, right? Then right underneath the center teeth, I'm going to come down with the sternum. And from there, I'm going to draw a curved line out to the side, leaving a little bit of a, bit of a gap above the hip bone. And then I'm going to add a couple more curved lines following that same path. Right above, that's for the rib cage. Same thing on the other side. Notice it's one, two, three lines. Not a lot. Pretty easy. For the arms and legs, I'll start with the legs first. Um, right underneath the hip bones, I'm going to bring down two parallel lines. Pretty short, because I want this guy to be kind of short and cute. And at the end of that, I'm going to add a double bump that's kind of like the um it's like a top of a heart without coming to a point i'm going to repeat that with two more lines coming out and another double bump and there we have the top and bottom of the leg with the knee somewhere in there for the foot i'm going to add a little kind of most of an oval coming off there and I'll start by drawing the big toe with most of a circle, and then I'll put a curve behind each, behind that toe, and wrap it around with a little curve around each one after. So each curve feeds into the next. This is obviously a very simplified and not anatomically correct skeleton. Repeating the same steps on the other side. to get my leg. Remember, you want to keep them about the same length. You can bend them, 
put them in different positions depending on which direction you point the foot will give a different stance big toe on the inside and then the other toes wrapping around little curve shapes after that I'm going to draw my arms I'm going to repeat similar process to the legs going to come up to where the shoulder would be right where the head and the body meet bring two short lines out and then a double bump like it's a heart coming out there repeat that and I've got my two parts of the arm with the elbow somewhere in the middle for the hand I'm gonna add a couple extra shapes so I'm gonna start with a similar shape to the foot but it's a little stockier and that's gonna be for this part of the hand here right and then from that I'm gonna add a bit of a longer shape that's gonna be for the paddle of our fingers and then where the thumb is going to be, I'm just going to add a little bump there. I can divide that paddle of the fingers into individual fingers by just drawing two lines inside of there. And same thing on the other side. Again, if you want to reposition the arms, you can make them waving. You can put something in his hands, put his arms on his hips. Um, whatever you want to do totally customizable he's kind of flopping his hands out there I guess I should have drawn these more uh, here yeah that works um, <clears throat> from this point if you want to make any modifications there's a lot of different things you can do to this you can kind of change the shape of the skull a little bit add little indentations maybe you vary the height of the teeth um, also add a couple of cracks lots of different personal things you can add to this but what i'm going to do if you have a sharpie or other marker uh, a, a black pen or even just a pencil you can go around and trace over your lines tracing only the parts you want to keep so if you don't want to keep something you don't have to trace it and now I'm going to black those out I'm going to black out the area underneath the rib cage. If you want to, you can add a little spine in there that you would also see. Again, it's all up to personalization. And there's my basic little kawaii skeleton. At this point, if you wanted to add any sort of a background, you can pass a horizontal line behind him. You can put him anywhere. It could be at the mall. It could be in a graveyard. You know, adding some sort of gravestones or maybe there's a spooky tree, some owls or bats or things going around. I can uh, add a couple of bats in here. All right, maybe there's a pumpkin or something else you know all the different things you can do to uh, personalize your background and add a lot of details right. good luck look forward to seeing what you come up with